on guys. We're here in Barstow. Got a couple canned hams. Got some goodies in the back of the truck. We got Mikey G over there. What are we gonna do today, Mikey? Hopefully not flip over. Jay, how you doing? Jay with his pink gloves over there. It's cold as fuck. Hey, it's a family channel, bro. It's cold as fun. <laughs> it's only 48 degrees. And then we got our homie here with the STV drone. Mike, he's got a big camera on big such a small drone. drone. Yeah. You didn't know that? No. I yeah. thought it was just like a that big camera. The camera's bigger than this one. Dude, I thought it was like, you know, the little camera on the front. Yeah, no. You want to tell us a little bit about that? It's a 28.3 Can-Am X3 RS. We just did full SDG suspension, so they revalved the Fox shocks on there. We changed the springs. We did some limit straps. We added the orange, changed the cage to a chrome molly cage. Added some lights, spare tire, some air pumpers, and a radio. I guess let's get to the dirt and get cracking. Let's do it. face shield. Honestly, my face would be ice. You know, I'm leaking right now. Like your schmeckle? No. Oh. oh, you know how it's like when when you're cold, you start leaking. He wants you to do a donut. Last time someone did a donut, it didn't end well. <laughs> idiot did a donut what happened uh, someone may or may not have left the high beams on and drained the battery Chin in a cup. why does your hand smell like burnt wood well funny you should ask look what I have created that's nice right so hold on you're gonna you're gonna jump this What's off this? of a, a drill battery yeah this is the I've never seen this before. Celsius, you mean? Yeah. Hey! Oh shit! This don't work, Mike. Don't turn it off. <laughs> what's what's wrong now? We got a little flat in the tire. How'd you do that? I thought this was meant to. Did you not see those rocks we chopped through, Mark? <laughs> hey, he didn't get that upgrade at Los Santos Customs. Los Santos Los Customs. Santos Custom. <laughs> so it was a successful day off-roading so far. You know, Alan got a broken window. Mikey broke a belt. I got a hole in my tire. You know. You also had a dead oh, battery. Oh, dead battery. Yeah. But Mikey had that cool magic trick to uh, get yes. it going again. Yes. Now I think it's time to go play with some guns and test out some new products. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, to the other side of the road. Hey, uh, Brian. Yo. I think people shoot here. I think one or two people have shot here. Jay, what's the difference between 556 five, and 223? I like the 556. Five, I use that in Call of Duty. <laughs> Fair enough, that's the answer I wanted. Yeah. All right, guys. So we got the rare breed trigger here installed in my LWRC. We got the heavy bolt and the heavy buffer string. Let's see what this thing does. They've ranted and raved about it. So let's give it a try. Uh-oh. So we had a problem with my upper. We switched to my friend's upper. Let's give this a try and see what happens. Pretty sweet. Alan, you want to try? Hell no. I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I'd say she's a keeper. Mark, you want to give it a go? Oh, uh, yeah, sure.
Okay, 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 this is bad. This is bad. All right, I gotta say this thing's pretty badass. Obviously, it's having a little bit of cycling just because I don't have the heavy bolt in there. But this thing is sweet. Thank you again. <laughs> and yeah, good thing we're in Vegas. All right, guys. So we have this concealment holster from last concealment. We have my 43X that was done by Agency Arms. We're gonna see how this thing does, pulling it out. I'm not wearing a belt, I'm wearing, you know, joggers. So we'll see how well it holds in with just joggers. Concealment wise, you can't really tell and it feels comfortable. You have a spare mag. You can shoot your dick off, but trigger control. Don't have your finger on the trigger till you're halfway. So let's draw and shoot a couple rounds, see how we like it. I love this gun. Make sure it's empty. Locks in pretty well. I like it. Thank you again, last concealment. I give this holster two thumbs up. I'm gonna start wearing it on the daily. I love it, and I'll give you another review in a couple months. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna try this on real quick. All right, so it's definitely meant so you can move around quickly. Yeah. Lightweight, covers your vital organs. You can always add the side panel coverage, which I would do. I'm just a fan of having that. Does it, does the, do these have? Yeah, it has a pocket. It you has a pocket? You can okay, feel for side the, plates? Yeah. So, oh my God, when I was holding this earlier, dude, honestly, this it is- It like floats in the wind. This is lighter than any plate I've ever had. Honestly, you can flip this over with your pinky. Like it's, so this is, what's the material? Cause I have level four. Oh. This is level three though. Yeah, I know, I have level four polyceramic plates. Um, so this is level three made by DKX. Ballistic performance warranty seven years. And it's NIJ certified. I want to say it's about an inch and a quarter thick. It has a nice. And uh, it's a good, you know, coverage. Yeah, oh, oh, also it's multi-curve. Yeah. Which is pretty nice, because some people you either get single curve yep. this way. So you get multi-level. Now you have multi-curve for like your chest. So that's, this is really good. It fits nice in a lot of play carriers. It fits nice, it's, comf it's way more comfortable. It's just a comfort thing. All right. And anti-spalling coating here. I don't know if this is Line-X or, I don't know too much about that, but. It's a nice plate. Nice plate. Again, this is from Phallix. I like it, guys. So, we had a great day of doing off-roading, playing with some guns, checking out some armor, concealment holster. I'd call this a pretty successful day, wouldn't you, Mark? I agree. All right. Day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave some notes below of what you'd like to see in our next video. See you soon.